Good evening everyone, time for another member update. I want to take a little bit diversion here tonight, take you a little bit down the rabbit hole, share with you some things that I was exploring today. And this article here is on the blog. It is an article from Jeff Berwick about this gentleman here who jumped and grabbed the mic at the Super Bowl. And I could play the video for you, except it turns out that Oh, the video has been removed. That's going to be a theme we're going to be looking at. But basically, this guy ran up, grabbed the mic, and said, 911 is an inside job. The U.S. government was behind it, etc. And uh, so let's look at Jeff Berwick's comment on this. Slowly, thanks to the Internet, people are getting access to real information and finally are beginning to question a lot of the government propaganda in public now. The political and financial elites have taken notice with John Kerry recently saying, this internet is making it hard to govern. <laughs> Government and governing, of course, has the roots of the word in Latin from the words governo, which means to control, and mentis, meaning mind. Government is a form of mind control. Now, I don't agree strictly. I, I'm not uh, as far into the crypto anarchist whatever anarcho-capitalist position that Jeb Berwick is but I definitely agree with a lot of what he says government is a form of mind control and once they lose their ability to control what most people think they'll lose their power and I think that is what it's about this year's Super Bowl had many indications that they are quickly losing that ability once people awaken to the true facts about government humanity will go through a dramatic paradigm shift and transition to a much more peaceful and prosperous world well I hope he's right I somehow doubt that but let's let's dig into this here I want to start off with a little bit of Max Rat and his take on this Al-Qaeda hoax, and we'll listen to a little bit of that, and then I'm going to take you further down the rabbit hole. There's always been an appeal to this necrotizing conspiracy theory radicalism. Okay, there's Rachel Madcow, who's just totally full of shit, and she's, okay, so she's going to, she did this whole, like, uh, it was like a 40-minute show, and all she did was rail away on how conspiracy people are all crazy and all racist and all Jew haters and all anti-Israel and all um and and, and and violent and prone to violence and and frankly I, I have to take offense to every single one of those um, stereotypes. Plus, I don't even like the um the categorization of conspiracy theorists because um the, the it's obvious to me that the conspiracy theorists are the morons who believe this garbage. That um, um so so um so because I don't believe that that Osama bin, that some got somebody avoids capture from the CIA NSA. The um, Defense Intelligence Agency, FBI, for 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 for, for um, and and, I, and by the way, Ayman Al Zawahiri, okay, is 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 still out there, um, supposedly, and he's um he's been out there for thirty years, and they've never caught him, okay. And the reason that they don't try to catch him is, or they don't like, they don't make it sound like he's next to be caught, is because they, they the boogeyman guy is the key, and the and, and and people don't care about the other other stuff. They just want to like, oh, Sam Bin Laden, you know, he was the guy that they promoted and built up as the boogeyman, the big boogeyman. So, um, so yeah, so, so, so now, so Rachel, Mad Rachel Madcow says necrotizing, okay? And I had to look that word up, of course. It comes from the, the, the word necrosis, which is the death of, of, of flesh or tissue, like the necrotizing, um, facilitus, which is the flesh-eating mold that they, uh, <laughs> That, that you heard in the, about in the news. So now she's so now she's relating um, conspiracy theory race radicalization with necrotize. It's so you're so you're a flesh eating conspiracy theorist now. Um, and 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 what I what I did was I found so so then I find so now so now so I'm gonna find all these um these uh these um media um bullshitters and and include and Obama himself also and 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 politician Peter King they all use medical terminology 
uh, re- relevant to cancer and uh, and 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 necrosis, okay, <laughs> which is which is the death of flesh according to the uh, Webster's Dictionary, and uh, and so they're gonna all use um these medical terms just to like just again you know because you got to get big farmers agendas in there too, so they have to like and that and this is how clever script writers write these things into all, everything that you have to hear. But you want to insist with me? I'll match it crazy. I'll kind of just use now. Nah, Yes, no, no, you know, you're, why, just because they said he has a cowboy hat doesn't mean that they don't exist? Yeah, it's, yes, <laughs> okay, yes, and just because they think you're an absolute moron with necrot- necrotizing is not a word that you describe as a, for somebody, whatever, that's, that's, the usage is improper, but it's proper if you're a clever writing, script writer for, uh, for liars in the media who are trying to get you to believe some garbage about fake terrorists, okay? So there's... Is ta- I encourage you to listen to the entire thing on Al Qaeda, which is just a big gigantic hoax, of course. But I wanted to delve into this conspiracy theory thing. Uh, I got in a discussion today about. Uh, I always get in discussions about various conspiracy theories, and one of the things that you always come across when you're talking about. Some conspiracy is this wonderful site here, Snopes.com. Now, Snopes.com, I commented, I said, well, this is this is two derps sitting around in their basement. And it turns out it's like some man and wife who, they're far left Democrats and uh, they're completely corrupt. But let's delve into this and look and see here. Here's one issue. And this is going to be very educational because if you remember back in the early campaign in 2008, before 2008, Obama was campaigning and he made a huge gaffe saying that there were 57 states. Now, the, this is the revised Snopes. Now, I'll show you that in a second here. And you can see the spin during a campaign stop. Barack Obama said he visited 57 states, a reference to 57 Islamic states. No, that's not what it was about. It was the fact that he was either so dumb or so deluded or whatever that he didn't even know how many states were in the union but they spin it here to say that he there was some conspiracy saying that he was referring to 57 islamic states so of course snopes goes and spins that because they're they're uh, puppets for the far left here but i want to play this for you they initially denied it and said that it was an urban myth and that's why people are constantly citing this Snopes site against conspiracies because, well, Snopes said it's uh, that's not real. They debunked it. Snopes debunked it. So until this video popped up. Uh, because, you know, it is just wonderful to be back in Oregon. And over the last 15 months, we've traveled uh, to every corner of the United States. Uh, I've now been in 57 states. I think one left to go. Uh, one left to go. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii I was not allowed to go to, even though I really wanted to visit, but my staff would not uh, justify it. So the spin here is that uh, it goes on and on and on about the Islamic thing, but as for Barack Obama's 57 states verbal slip-up, which Snopes initially denied, it wasn't long before some wags also spoofed a previous controversy over centers as shooing the wearing of a U.S. flag lapel pin. So that's Snopes. Now, I wanted to investigate this site a little bit, and I wanted to pull this original article. You can see here, if you pull up this URL, you can go to the Wayback Machine. I'm not, You're familiar with the Wayback Machine, but you can go in here. And let's say we do my website, uh, brotherjohnf.com, and pull that up. You can see that there are basically snapshots of the site that are taken. And we started in December 2011. So you can see various snapshots, various days, where they took a picture of the website. And that's documented. That's very important for people who are conspiracy researchers. And the reason why is because there is a historical record you know from orwell and others that you know the state statement that we have always been at war with eurasia and then the next day 
uh, we've we've always we're at peace with Eurasia the sort of thing that changes daily they change history and so it's very important to have a historical basis to go by so if we if we take that URL that we had for that Snopes article we paste it in of course we wanted to see what the original one was but what happens when you do that you get this message sorry this URL has been excluded from the Wayback Machine. Now, you can actually take out the rest of this URL and just put it back to the domain itself, Snopes.com, and you'll find out that the entire domain of Snopes.com has been removed from the Wayback Machine. Now, I'm not going to take you to the research on this to show you that uh, what this message means but there's a a reference on the Wayback Machine site saying that if a website owner requests it they can put this file in called robots.txt which has a command that says that, that it is not to be archived so the owners the two derps in a basement that run Snopes.com that our far left Obama supporters have requested that history not be kept of what they've said. Unlike Wikipedia, for example, which keeps revision history, although I certainly don't trust Wikipedia either. So now let's do a search here on this exact phrase. This URL has been excluded from the Wayback Machine because the first thing you would think of well okay so that's not so uh, such a big deal there are sites that don't want to have the robots archiving them well if that were the case would there only be 44 results in the entire history of the internet for that phrase to be used and you can see if we go down to the bottom here some of these are in Chinese and so there's probably only 30 or 40 legitimate ones now let's look at some of the legitimate ones here that ha have this exact phrase. Here's one. Snopes Scrubs article on Obama's mama's picture porn excluded from the Wayback Machine. So here's a documentation of how Snopes tried to debunk uh, the photos that came out about Obama's mother tried to say she was this actress people had to archive that and uh, they were busted changing it this is probably one of the reasons why Snopes went and decided to exclude their content from the Wayback Machine because people were busting them on their lies here's another one remember there's only 40 or so this one goes to the Bertha report CNN Snopes Marinus busted Jack Cahill takes on David Marinus in new book and you can see here this detail about Obama's birth and they have revised it. Snopes actually changed it. They changed the story. They changed what was said about it. It's long documentation. I, I can't go into it. So there's another example. Here's another example. I don't know if you remember who this Madeleine McCain was, but this was an enormous controversy that happened in Britain where this little girl disappeared and there were all kinds of allegations about fake abductions, child molestation, etc. Well, I can't go into it, but apparently this researcher uh, had a sudden death. He went searching for, apparently he came across too many rabbit trails and of course we find out that all of this information ultimately has been removed from the archive. So that's another one of the 40 that lists that. Here's the last one I'll show you. This is a story that the Internet Archive is actually complicit in the NYS BOE cover-up. So here is a site, the Board of Elections, that uh, is in New York State. And this guy's site, he documents how the Wayback Machine itself, remember I told you that the Wayback Machine will take requests from sites asking that they not archive them. 
and that's where you get that robots txt but this gentleman dug a little bit further and he found out that not only did the request for it to be removed come from the state government but that subsequently the web archive themselves actually edited you can see there's the exclusion message but they not only excluded it but they actually edited the original web archive message and the web archive themselves actually tried to rewrite history subsequently this guy came under a DDoS attack and you can see it was from the State Department so there's just a little bit of information about these people who want to control everyone's mind and because they are steeped in lies because the vast majority of the information that they are pumping out to the public is lies, fear-mongering, conspiracies that don't exist or conspiracies that do exist that they're covering up. Anytime you're operating on a basis of lies, as Orwell saw, ultimately you're going to actually have to rewrite history because you're going to be caught because someone's going to find out what you said at the time they're going to archive it and someone's going to go back and say well this just doesn't jibe so these liars who are in control of the media they're in control of the government they're running these gigantic scams mind control games um, scare tactics and all this stuff uh, they're in the process of rewriting history now how does this how does this have anything to do with silver and gold well it has a lot to do with silver and gold because the same people who are behind the conspiracy to suppress the price of silver and gold are the same people that are behind these other conspiracies and if you remember this capture of Osama bin Laden Max Rat talks a lot about in this again I encourage you to listen to this about how bin Laden did two interviews with the press and and how the press seemed to find him but all the apparatus of the United States government wasn't able to find him of course until they did find him when they captured him surprise surprise exactly at the time when Obama posted his fake birth certificate for people to examine and then of course it was exposed as a complete fake and captured Osama bin Laden this was the same weekend in May 1st of 2011 when the massive attack came against silver so yes these are all the same players they are all the same people they're all a bunch of liars and they're trying to control your mind and we'll talk to you next time